Hello everybody, today in light of the new Minecraft update to 1.7.2 I'm going to show you guys how to update your mods from 1.6.6 or pretty much any earlier version of Minecraft to the latest. So first thing you want to do is go to the MCP website, Minecraft Coder Pack, or no actually, I don't know, whatever, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to go for the latest releases, release information. I had to wait till now, pretty late, for the latest MCP. Usually after a new release of Minecraft, it takes about a week and a few days to get this up. So if you guys noticed that my channel was quiet for that time, I was waiting for this new up update of MCP to come out. So we're going to download this. I already have it. It comes in an, in a zip package I've saved mine in my mods folder right here it's the latest version of MCB you can tell in the change log give it a second to open up in uh, notepad see up 4.2 updated client and server to 1.7.2 so this is my latest version of MCP so now that we have our MCP basic again normal setup of setting up a uh, fresh <coughs> of a fresh MCP folder. So, what we're going to do is I've already made a backups folder. So, we're just going to use that one for now. New folder tut1. So, remember all the stuff we modified. Let's we'll see that one open. Right click, there's open open new window. So, we got our backups over here for tut1, right? Do my Minecraft mods tutorial 1. And we're going to go for all, everything that we changed. So I believe the one we changed is picture and mods. Let's just take the entire mods folder. Because we're going to delete everything in our MCP folder to make room for the new MCP folder. Like everything here. We're going to delete all of it. So for that, we need to get out all of our source, everything that we've changed, unless you want to lose it all and recode it all. You know? So I believe we edited mod our mod super block and block super block if you ever forget you can always just open your mod and see what you've used for like we have our new super block that's about it it's all we have the block itself doesn't reference anything else so oh wait no we don't need block tap java what am i thinking block super block right <laughs> Um, block S. Something starts in S, right? Block snow block. S U, right? So spawn super block. There you go. Mod super block. Block super block. There you go. So we have our stuff, and we're gonna go back to our tutorial one folder and delete everything except the eclipse folder. Okay, because you know if we delete the eclipse folder, then we lose everything in our workspace. I'll have to rebuild that. Usually, if we leave the Eclipse folder there, everything else will stay fine. So, it's all gone now. And now we're going to open up. Where was I? Where did I put it? Minecraft Mods, MCP, and 7 zip, right? Let's go back to tutorial 1, and we're going to take everything except the Eclipse, right? Eclipse. No, we want the jars. We don't want Eclipse. Right? Drag it all in here. That was not it. I copied more than just a few of those things. Right? Or maybe they're just not appearing. There they are. Yeah, they're, they just didn't appear. So we got our new MCP in here, but we don't have the jars. Right? So you are going to want to go and re-download the server. I already downloaded the server that I've been using for a few other of my mods, like the Obsidian Extended mod that I've made. I already, I just recently updated that. So I'm going to take the server jar from there. It's a fresh jar still. Otherwise, I have a few things that I'm keeping handy. A1 fresh MCP. The A1 is just to keep it at the top. You know, like A is it, usually Windows usually sorts everything alphabetically. So I keep the A, and then after that it's a number. So I put a one after that. All that I'm just keep the stuff at the top. So this is a, always a fresh MCP folder, no edits, nothing pre already decompiled and stuff. If you're looking here, keep it ready. 
anytime I need to use it. But for now, I'm going to show you guys how to do that manually. So anyway, we're going to take the jars. These are fresh Minecraft jars, okay? Want to re-download your Minecraft and get it from the .minecraft folder. But for now, just to save time, I'm going to get from here. So I'm going to paste them. Control V. No, oh, yeah, no, we don't want to copy that. That'd be a waste to get rid of this, right? Fresh. There you go. The Minecraft jar is here as well. There you go, right? And now we're gonna update our MCP. Just in case, this is just to fix any problems we might have with the with the old Eclipse thing. This could take a while. As some people pointed out before, for my computer things are pretty fast. <laughs> Oh wait, no, oh, darn it. I accidentally did not press yes. Anyway, let's try that again. Lots of people notice that your Kaiser's computers might take a lot longer. I have a really fast computer, so... So, okay. Now that we have our stuff decom... No, we updated our Eclipse folder, right? But now we have to decompile our new 1.7 minecraft jars as I said again my computer will definitely be faster than your guys's somebody actually left a comment that theirs took 84 seconds as opposed to mine which took 5 I think something like that mm -hmm. Done. Now it's decompiling server. Oh wow, it finds like 30 seconds. Recompiling is usually a whole lot faster. But anyway. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Recompiling, this should give you absolutely no errors. Oh wait, shoot. Darn it, I just remembered. We need mod loader. Since we're using mod loader for this mod of ours, right? Whoops. Well, anyway, let's grab that real quick. I already downloaded the mod loader for 1.7.2, so I'm going to open that up. Alright. And where is our tutorial 1? Ah, now I have to clean up again. <laughs> Being so absent minded today. Done really fast, right? So we're gonna open up our jar. Bin Minecraft 7 zip open archive. Delete meta inf. Take this stuff, dump it in there. Yes. Close up that. You know what? While we're at it, instead of having to add our images later, you could add our images now. Well no, we shouldn't add our images now. It doesn't matter, it only takes files like the classes that are changed it doesn't re-obfuscate pictures so I'm gonna go back over here and decompile modified jar detected eh, no big deal Two hunks failed. That's okay. It's usually with the render blocks. Always with the render blocks, actually. I don't know why, but it's something with mod loader. Doesn't really matter. It doesn't change anything. Renaming it, decompiling the server and everything. Almost done. Done. Okay. So now we have our source in, right? Our source all in here, all our new ones, right? Our new 1.7.2 source. So we're just gonna dump all our new stuff back in. Okay, all our sorry, our modified stuff from previously. You go back there. We're gonna decompile. Now, if the decompile gives you errors, oh wait, why am I rec? What did I press? I press decompile. What was I thinking again? Oh my gosh. 
recompile our edited classes and stuff back into our jar, right? So if this gives you any problems, then you will have to go in and into Eclipse and manually change things that are conflicting. Um, I haven't had that problem yet. I guess when I do, I can make a tutorial on it, but until then, huh, should have no problems. So there you go. We have our mod done. And if you want to re-obfuscate to like, export your mod for other people, it'll be come up in here in the re-obfuscate thing. It's re-obfuscating it now. There you go. It's opening our block super block. It's block super block. Mod super block. Mod super block. It's all good. And it's done. Here we are. We have our modified classes. Um, I believe I had a zip file for that, right? Somewhere, Minecraft tutorials. Right, our block super mod, block super block. Picture stays the same, right? The only difference is the classes. Officially, it shouldn't be different anyway, but because I mean they're the same thing, right? So there you go. Our mods are in here. This link I'm going to put as an annotation for this video is our new block, is our new mod for 1.7.2 the one we made with mod loader in one previous tutorial. Let me just grab the Dropbox public link. <laughs> and there you go, we are done. Once this thing is done uploading, you'll be able to access it. Until then, it'll give you a 404 that this does not exist. <laughs> but until then, yeah, it shouldn't be that big of a deal. So, there you go, we are done for updating a per some of your own mod with mod loader, or it doesn't really matter, whatever mod. You just put it in the new MCP, and you should be fine.